Yes, I'm his girlfriend. No, he, um, he doesn't have anyone else to call. His parents are currently out of the state, and he stayed behind to study in Petsit. We were actually supposed to be doing it together, but I, I got a call and came straight here. What happened? He, he was passed out of the living room, and his neighbors saw him. Is he awake now? Can I go see him? Yes. That's a relief. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, baby. No. No, no. Stay laid down. The doctor said you may be a little faint. Do you know what happened? You... You were moving furniture around so you could build a pillow fort. And... Then you started feeling fuzzy. Maybe you should have waited. You know you weren't supposed to overdo things at that moment. It wasn't that long ago that you were at the doctor's because of your dizzy spells. Did it start with a dizzy spell like you had a few months ago? It did? Oh, baby, I'm sorry. But I'm here now, and the doctors told me that your vitals are looking good. And they think that they can discharge you tomorrow afternoon, so... There's some good news, at least. No, no. The doctor told me your neighbor would check in on the cats tonight. You don't have to worry about them, okay? I I want you to focus on yourself right now. At least for tonight. The doctor told me you refused to give them your mom's number when you came around. No, no, no. I haven't called her yet. I wanted to talk to you and the doctor before I made any calls. But, Eddie, you know your mother's going to be worried sick if neither of us check in tonight, right? You know, baby, your chest is real comfortable right now. Why don't you get some rest? I'll be right here when you fall asleep. And then I'll probably go find myself something for dinner. And then I'll give your mom a call to check in. I know. I know you don't want to tell her, but if neither of us check in and let her know that we're good, she's going to worry and start calling both of us simultaneously. You know what she's like. You might be my babe, but you're her baby. Don't argue with me, babe. If you won't call to tell her, I will. She has to know. I'll I'll probably just tell her you didn't feel great and got bought in for overnight monitoring. We can tell her more tomorrow. Mm Mm-hmm. Does that sound good? It does. (laughs) Good. Besides, it's not like we have any real answers. We can't tell your mom yet anyway. I'll call her when you fall asleep and check in. You know, we have a way with each other. (laughs) Well, babe, I think this bed is way comfier than yours. And look at all the pillows. I'm totally going to stay right here with you. I mean, who would pass up this opportunity? No, the doctor said it was fine. I mean, they probably thought I meant that chair in the corner that looks almost as comfortable as your bed at home. No, 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 I'm staying right here until you fall asleep. And then I'll go call your mom and check in to save us both the landslide of phone calls all night. Then I'll come back to hold you close and I'll be right here when you wake up. Trust me, you won't even know I'm gone. (laughs) Baby, (laughs) no, don't argue with me, you need rest. Even if I have to brush your hair while on the phone to your mom in here. Now, lay still, close your eyes, and let me hold you for a bit. (laughs) Yeah. Now, can I see a smile before you fall asleep?
come on. Just because we're in a hospital, I'm still worried about you. And it doesn't mean you can't smile for me at least once before you close those pretty eyes of yours. Mm Mm-hmm. Those are very pretty eyes. (laughs) There you go. You do have a lovely smile, baby. And that's one of my favorite traits about you. Alright, now close your eyes and I'm just going to put my head on your shoulder so you can't leave this super comfortable bed. And then I'll brush your hair Mm -hmm. and hum to you if you want, at least. (laughs) Okay. I know. A little too excited. I just love how smooth your hair is. And how it glides through my fingers when I brush it. You know, it always makes me feel calmer. And I know it helps you fall asleep when I do it. Okay, now, you need to stop talking. And as much as I love when you mumble my name in your sleep, you do actually need me to sleep first, okay? Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to brush your hair. Yeah? <laughs> you like that? Good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love your hair so much, baby. It's nice and fluffy. Everything will be better by tomorrow. I promise. Everything will be okay. Just go to sleep, baby. Just go to sleep. (laughs) He's asleep. (laughs) That was much quicker than I expected. He must be more exhausted than he felt. Speaking of which, I should probably go get a sandwich in the cafeteria and give his mom a call before she starts calling us. Alright, baby, I know you can't hear me right now, but I'll be back before you wake up. You won't even know I was gone. And then tomorrow, when the doctors discharge you, you are not going to be leaving that bed of yours at home. I know you're going to be so stubborn about that, but I will build a pillow fort all around you, and you will have nowhere to escape. (laughs) And then I will watch movies on my laptop in bed, and then the fort is going to be all around us, so that you are completely surrounded by pillows, and you cannot try to escape from your bed, because you need rest, and I'm not letting you go anywhere. And for the record, it was an incredibly sweet gesture. (laughs) You're adorable. Sweet dreams, my sweet fluffy baby. Mm. I love you so, 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 so much.